In my previous video, I talked about the specific details of Michael Moore's recent tweet claiming that no women have ever invented an atomic bomb, built a smokestack, initiated a holocaust, melted the polar ice caps, or organized a school shooting. Now that we know that each one of those points is completely wrong, let's move on to the larger problem, which is the idea that women are biologically predisposed to be more ethical, more compassionate, or less violent than men. I should clarify that Moore didn't come out and say that. He may have meant a variety of things by his dumb shit tweet. But this is the idea that that tweet reinforces whether he meant for it to do that or not. Of particular note is the modifier I've added, biologically predisposed. And I add that because men are more violent than women, and that simply cannot be dismissed. Men are responsible for 9 out of 10 of the world's murders, despite only being about half of the population. That's pretty violent. And yeah, men are responsible for most of the wars throughout history. Yikes. Uh, but is that because men are just naturally more violent than women? And does that mean that Hillary Clinton is going to be a more peaceful president than Donald Trump or Barack Obama or George W. Bush just because she's a woman? No. Come on. There's nothing in women's genes, in their brains, in their hormones, that makes them more likely to avoid violent solutions to problems. Vaginas don't spontaneously emit morality. They emit uterine lining and babies, neither of which are really a pillar of goodness. Really, even babies. Babies can be downright assholes. So why are men more violent? Well, like everything else in life, it's complicated, at least according to the science we have. Uh, which shows us that in our society we tend to reward boys for sublimating their emotions and solving problems through physical violence. We also punish boys in violent ways and in ways that don't actually solve violence, like incarceration. Ways that end up making boys more violent and men more violent. Also, men have historically been running the world. When most of the world leaders have been and are men, uh, and when humans, in general, have a desire for war, then of course more men are going to start wars. When women weren't even allowed to study science for most of human history, of course more men are going to have worked on the atomic bomb. You may as well say that no men have ever given birth to dictators. It's a pointless fact given that they haven't exactly had the opportunity to do so. The belief that women are naturally superior to men is a form of benevolent sexism. It ultimately ends up hurting both men and women. It hurts men by reinforcing the belief that they're monsters who can't control themselves. And it hurts women by forcing all women to live up to a perfect ideal that we can never actually reach and by erasing women's complicated humanity. If you look at our media, especially in the past, male characters, at least white male characters, have long been allowed to be complex anti-heroes because we can ultimately accept that a man can be both good and evil. We can accept that a man can be complicated. For the most part, women and minorities have been forced to be magical angels or manic pixie dream girls or side characters who have no real internal dialogue or motivation at all. And so we have women like Hillary Clinton who have to demonstrate an outward image of perfection in order to gain power. She can't champion the radical progressive politics of Bernie Sanders and she certainly can't demonstrate the blatant bigotry or lack of knowledge or lack of any kind of experience or deep corruption of Donald Trump. She has to be middle of the road, never smiling too much or smiling too little. She has to show the perfect level of competence without seeming bitchy or weak. It's a nearly impossible tightrope to balance on, and it's bad enough with conservatives who are bashing her constantly. She doesn't also need ignorant progressives like Michael Moore being just as sexist.